All right, we are back with the last game of the NBA slate for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. And it favors the Blazers, minus four and a half, over under set at 236 and a half. I'm Coach from Sports Gambling Daily. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Definitely consider subscribing. All right, it's weird to have a Brooklyn Nets game where they are the underdog, but it's for good reason, in my opinion. If you look at the injury report, you got Kyrie. He is out due to personal issues. He'll be away from the team for at least three games. Obviously, you have Kevin Durant still out. Landry Shamit rolled his ankle pretty bad in the last game. He is out. Obviously, Dinwiddie is out with a torn ACL. And then now you have Harden. He is questionable with a stiff neck. So, I mean, that popped up yesterday. So that means they're already like, you know, if, if anyone's ever had a stiff neck, it's hard to do anything for the next couple of days. So um, we'll see what kind of treatment he gets and see if they put him out there. But if they don't roll him out there, well, man, this uh, Brooklyn Nets team is going to struggle it's going to be the Blake Griffin show <laughs> so uh, overall they are the top ranked offense when all their players are healthy they are the 26th best defense in the league and um and, you know overall they're eight and two in their last 10 five and five against the spread in their last 10 they just beat Washington now they haven't been running up all these points like they have in the past uh most recently however you know, that's okay. It almost seems like they're just pacing themselves, to be honest with you, because the Brooklyn Nets are going to be an amazing team when it's all said and done, when all their players are in. But, you know, we got to keep our eye on the Harden news here. This is this is a troubling situation here. And, look, the line opened up at, like, Blazers minus one, and it's moved all the way to Blazers minus four and a half. So, in my opinion, that is on the heels of Harden probably sitting out now the blazers they lost the mavericks in their last game they are seven and three straight up four and six against the number in their last 10 they uh, average about 114 points on offense giving up about 115 points on defense however they do they've been winning quite a few games this year they are 25 and 17 on the season without Nurkic and collins in this matchup either all right, I'm going to have to lean the Blazers minus four and a half, but I'm not going to make any move until I know for sure if Harden is playing or not. Because if Harden's in the game, then anything is possible for the Brooklyn Nets because he's a great facilitator. I watched many games when he was with the Rockets, and he was basically the only star on the team, and he surrounded himself with a couple shooters and a big man like DeAndre Jordan or like Capella was with, with the Rockets, and he was able to run off 40-point triple doubles and – uh, you know, get his team to a victory. So that is the biggest news, in my opinion. You got to keep your eye on James Harden, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the channel today. Also, check out the video between the the Sixers and Golden State. I have a contest running in that one, so go over there and win some of my money. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Check out the free private group. Link is in the description. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.